Uh, I got some goodies here. Uh, I just bought this controller right here from Amazon, 27 bucks. And it's just a basic one. 250, 350 watt. It says runs at 24 volts, but actually if you read the directions, it'll tell you that it's going to operate on three different voltages, 24, 36, 48. Um, yeah, I got these. Somebody threw away one of those, what do you call those damn little hoverboard dealies. I don't know why they use that name, hoverboard. The damn thing's still touching the ground. Anyways, um, I'm going to run two of these off of one controller with a small battery pack. And this is just going to be for a around the house little mobility scooter and help my mom to be able to get out to her car and whatnot when she's feeling tired and whatnot. She's almost 90 and I'm trying to do some nice stuff for her. Anyways, um, these are rated at 150 watt each. 24 volt, 150 watt. You can feed into these 350, 500 watts. I've even put a thousand watts in 100 watt motor before and it had, it probably was not good for it. It's going to prematurely eat up the windings and stuff in there. They're really small when they're that little of a wattage. Anyways, yeah, I could, this one here, it says that it's a 250, 350. Um, there's a little mod you could do inside there. I brought this one over here to kind of show you. Most controllers, when you open them up, they're kind of the same. I've been stripping parts off this one. It was a 1500 watt Still is, but it's not complete. Over here on this side, you see a see that silver-looking jelly bean thing. It's called a shunt, S H U N T. On this particular board, it was two thin little tubes that ran from like an arch, one side to the other. And what happens is, is when you accelerate, the controller gets negative current goes through comes through the capacitors into the mosfet that's the last little thing that gives you before it takes off and when the those tubes on the shunt are really thin only a certain amount of voltage goes through wattage goes through to uh turn your wheels so when you i beefed that one up there with a whole bunch of solder and it made a big difference that thing's like a neck jerker when you when you have a uh, 72 volts on it I, I, I rode it around for a while at first, but uh, I had a problem with it, so I took it off. I've just been parting it out. Um, yeah, the shunt mod, it's simple to do, but you need to be really careful to not drop solder on any other area. You need to be real clean about it. You will kill a board immediately if you knock one of those little capacitor resistors off. The SMD surface mount. Um, very touchy stuff good luck getting those back on if you're a, like me a novice solderer <laughs> if they come off you'd be screwed anyways yeah i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is wire both of these off of this controller um what i like about this controller is it's called brain power and of all the chinese controllers that i see on the internet brain power has tons and tons of documentation and stuff that tells you about programming the controller you can actually do a little key pushing sequence and get it into programming mode and change some of the parameters on it which is kind of cool um yeah so uh that's kind of what we got going on here oh, i was going to say one more thing if you're messing with these motors and controllers trying to wire them up a lot of times i've found that this one has quite a bit of English in it. I'll figure it out. But you download Google Lens onto your smartphone. Google Lens is an app that reads things, images, and text through the screen, through the camera. And you touch what you're – so watch this. If I was had Google Lens right now, I'd be touching the Chinese stuff, and it'll, boom, turn into English all of a sudden. Makes this stuff much simpler. Okay, well, that's about all I got to say. When I get this up and running, I'll uh, make another video.